Hey everyone, this is Sal from Geek.com. I'm here with something called uh, Sugru, or Su yeah, I think it's Sugru. Anyway, it's a, uh, a silicon-based uh, modeling putty that you've probably heard of. Uh, it came out recently, and uh, what you do is that you can mold this, and then you could basically uh, use it to kind of hack little things together. So you could, uh, I don't know, repair a plastic part, or uh, you know, improve the grip on something like they have examples here they uh, add a grip to their camera they customize the grip on a drill they use it to uh, keep two things together I don't know what exactly looks like a swing they repair a vase you know so things like that there's a lot of different uses it's almost as if you could add a little bit of plastic something to something and uh, basically it's a soft putty and uh, you kind of mold it to your liking and then you leave it to set. So, just got it. Haven't even used it yet. So, uh, I want to see what works. This package right here is called the Smart Hacks Pack. It's six uh, pieces of five gram, five grams. Yeah, so 30 grams total, but in six little sachets. So, open it up and see what happens. So this is just a sealed package, and then we have the six sachets, and then uh, there it is. So it's a smaller packet. It's like smaller than a ketchup packet. So it's only five grams. So, and then uh, you can use it to do stuff. This one has a they're repairing a sandal. So probably a pretty good example. There's not a whole lot on here. It says uh, ingredients, not for individual resale. You know, I don't know, stuff like that. So we are going to open it up, and to do that, you need some sort of scissor or sharp implement, which I have here at my disposal. And then we'll try a preliminary hack. I haven't really thought through this just yet. This is the blue, but it comes in a, diff a number of different colors. So there it goes. It's sort of a it's a sticky putty but it does tear. So it's sort of like a, maybe a Play-Doh. Not that I've used Play-Doh recently. It's definitely sticking to my hands. It's leaving some blue crap on my hands, which I'd rather not have. But let's give it a shot and see what happens. I have this old camera, and one of the things I've been wanting to do to this is uh, add a bit of extra grip to it, which this is a, a slick camera. So I'm just gonna test this out. This camera I've uh, kind of hacked the firmware in a previous video which people probably saw and so I've been using it a fair bit but I really what I use is my S95 a lot and I am not about to slap a bunch of, S of uh, modeling putty on my S95 without knowing how well it works. So this will be a good example to see if you could uh, hack on a grip without completely crapping up your camera. So what happened is over time this should set to be a sort of a, a rubbery silicon grip. So try to mold it out, make it look reasonably nice. Or, hmm. See what it says about setting time. Hey everyone, this is Sal, and I'm back with the camera and the Suguru, which I just applied. Sorry, my camera overheated, so I had to let it cool down for a little bit. 
So uh, what happens is I applied that the Subaru modeling putty to the outside, so you can see that it should have uh, enhanced my grip. Although my job was a little bit messy, and then uh, add some to the trigger and some to the thumb area. So uh, I'm going to give some time and let this set and uh, see what happens. It should be set in uh, 23 and some odd hours and then I will uh, either have some blue crap on my camera which I won't mind or I'll have a, an enhanced grip on, on it so we'll see. So far so good though and it looks like a pretty cool way to hack your devices as well as to sort of improve them a little bit or uh, repair them if it comes to that. Uh, I did get some blue junk all over my hands but with a thorough wash I was able to get that off. So uh, don't wear your Sunday best if you're going to be working with the Subaru. Anyway, this is Sal from Geek.com. Thanks for watching.